In this demo, we will simulate the impact of one of the Hyper-V class nodes failure on applications. We directly powered off one of the Hyper-V cluster node that hosts the SharePoint Exchange mailbox and CAS server. The whole infrastructure will be monitored by Microsoft System Center suits with the EMC System Center management pack. This solution deploys all Exchange, SQL, and SharePoint servers as virtual machines on a Hyper-V cluster. The failover clustering feature provides the high availability for the virtual machines. Furthermore, the Exchange mailbox servers are configured in a database availability group DAC to provide high availability from the Exchange application and the service level. This solution also used the EMC System Center management packs with Microsoft System Center suite to monitor the storage array on the SAN environment and infrastructure. Besides, EMC Storage Integrator, a free tool for EMC customers, is used greatly to simplify the managing, viewing, and provisioning of EMC storage in a Hyper-V environment for management. In this demo, we are using VSTS test tool to simulate the user request to the SharePoint. At the same time, we are leveraging Microsoft System Center Virtual Machine Manager and CVMM to centrally manage physical and virtual IT infrastructure in this solution. For example, monitoring server drop utilization and dynamically improve the resources optimization across the virtualized platform. Now we directly power off one of the Hyper-V cluster nodes that hosted the SharePoint Exchange mailbox and the CAS server. If a Hyper-V node experiences hardware failure, the virtual machine originally hosted on this node will be also dropped, and the Hyper-V failover cluster will move them quickly to another node and be powered on automatically. Now let's take a look at SCVMM. You can see that the Hyper-V node 3 was down and the three virtual machines were not responding right now. From the VSTS, the user requests to the SharePoint drop the half because the one of the SharePoint web front end server is down right now. After that, you can see the mailbox server was moved to the Hyper-V node 1 and started automatically. After a while, the Exchange CAS server was also moved to Hyper-V node 1 and started again. Now, if we go back and check VSTS, the user requests to SharePoint are increasing right now because the WebFound server is back and starts to serve requests. <laughs> 